warning your money is no longer safe here is how it begins they're going to do capital controls at the same time they will be doing inflationary schemes as they are already doing and then what's going to happen is that your money will become completely useless you will then be completely dependent on the government structure and they're gearing up for that already i'm going to show you something that they have been doing which i have predicted and i have been warning about and i've been telling people to get your money out of the system let's take a look right now this is out of the bbc hsbc imposes restrictions on large cash withdrawals this is exactly what i have been warning about you as my subscribers have heard me harp on this over and over again and i'm talking to you today about capital controls they did this historically many many times in every dictatorship around the world and here we are and this is the, you know the new dictatorship it's a globalized economy and they are restricting your money from getting out see the way it worked initially was that you put your gold into the bank they gave you these paper things that were basically just a note saying look your money's with us and you can use these things just to make your life easier but then they took the gold backing away and all of a sudden you had nothing but paper and what do they do they use this system to multiply their money now even forget about the derivatives for a moment when you talk about fractional reserve banking they're able to multiply the amount of paper that's in the system many many times over and what are they doing now they're always they're they're worried about this collapse happening because their schemes are now coming to an end even those in control will lose that control after a certain amount of time until we enter a new monetary system which of course will be very restrictive and that's another topic for a different day today they're talking about restricting the amount and this is not even just talking people were actually restricted from the amount they could take out and this was you know between five and ten thousand but you know that's just the beginning soon it will be five hundred and then two hundred and ten and then one dollar this is a change in policy and they did it in november so that's how it happens just like that they make a change in their policy they tell their staff this is how you have to do it and all of a sudden you do not have access to your own money now when people put their money into cash and cash denominated assets you are asking for this i have been warning about this i've been telling people every single person i consult i tell them your money in the bank is just as well gone when you put your money in that rrsp in that 401k you're basically saying i have 100 percent trust in my government in my banking system in my bank manager and everyone down the line but that's not the reality that's not the truth this has gone way too far look at what they're doing they're actually restricting you from the money so they're playing these games with the whole inflation and you know three percent a year your money's gone five percent okay so it's now it's at ten percent and your inflation keeps going up but at the very least they're not sticking their hand into the pot and grabbing but they did that with the bail-ins in cyprus they threatened it in canada as well and now they're going with another scheme and that is restricting so they put a lid on the very top at the same time they're pulling from underneath i hope i'm getting through to you with this let's take a look at this prove it they said without the evidence of spending need you cannot have your money what is the bank's business what you do with your money but of course it's not your money see because they developed this system they use that notes those those paper things to control you and that's how this works they are controlling each and every one of us because of the system they built the same one that we continue to vote for and the same thing keeps happening and then you wonder why well i tell you right now i'm stressing to every single person and hopefully as you send this to your friends and family to them as well take your money out of the system at least for the most part i understand you have bills to pay you have people to pay if you have people on your salary on your payroll or whatever 
but take the savings out. Do not keep your savings in the bank. It is going to collapse in one way or another. There's so many different avenues for this thing to collapse, and you're going to keep your money in there. That is way too dangerous. I, like I said, every person I consult, one of the very first things I mentioned to them is your money in the banking system is long gone. Are you prepared to deal with that? And of course, the answer is no. I wrote about the same exact thing in my book. And this is a quote from Murray N. Rothbard. The nation's money supply has just, by magic, increased. The inflationary counterfeiting process is underway. This is how they do their banking schemes. The entire way the bank works is specifically to steal from you. That's why this is like this. That's why they don't like real assets. And, of course, the real guys on the on the back end here are the ones holding the real assets the large portion of them and meanwhile they're saying no 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 stick with your uh, 0.85 quote unquote high yield investment that's not for us that's not for the individuals here on the money gps and speaking of which get on the money gps insiders totally free all you got to do is drop your email address in there there's been a growing response here very proud and i'm very happy to see all of you joining me on there i'm going to do all kinds of things through the insiders because I want a smaller community of people I want a closer community and we can you know talk through email and uh, you know other videos and stuff like this it's gonna be great um, I'm planning on doing a few things on Obama specifically on the insiders get on there open the emails you want to delete the ones you don't what can I say I just uh, you know want to really reach a new set of people a closer group of people because of course everyone on YouTube is not gonna agree with me and, and you know especially the insiders will not agree with me as well but at least the fact that we can grow and have this smaller community as i said i will talk to you very soon